What is up, everybody? Some of Julius Cruz here. We're gonna be checking out some Street Fighter Five matches here. Um, this was my first ever Urian. First of all, I do want to apologize. It's been around two weeks since I made one of these, but I was busy working on some videos that didn't require commentary. Now that those are out of the way, I can focus on Street Fighter V again with commentary. I also want to say thank you to the people that joined my Batman Arkham Knight stream and my Street Fighter V Story Mode stream, uh, both of them. Those were pretty good. I'm actually thinking of doing a stream of uh, Until Dawn after I, I stream the ending of the story mode in Street Fighter V, actually. So I'm thinking of doing either a stream of Until Dawn or maybe a full Let's Play of Until Dawn. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, Until Dawn, I'm really freaking liking that game. I don't know. It's just something about the game that's uh, really uh, caught my attention right now. It's actually, uh, I, I guess you could say, donated by a friend of mine. That was uh, pretty cool, this part. So I'm not really sure how to proceed there with Until Dawn, either a mini stream or a full let's play sometime in the future after I beat the game. I'm not really a fan of doing uh, let's plays of uh, games I haven't beaten yet. So anyway, okay, so let's focus here on the Street Fighter V uh, side here of the video. Um, this was, like I said, this was my first ever Yuri, and like I have... When, I, when this match was going on, I had like literally zero experience against Yuri. All I knew about Yuri was the Aegis Reflector. That's it. He has, he's got the Aegis Reflector and he's got an overhead. That's it. That's all I knew about about uh, Yuri. I did face a Yuri last night on. Uh, that was nice. I did face a Yuri last night on rank, and that Yuri was damn good. He beat me two times in a row, actually. You know what I mean? Like, he straight up... I, I wouldn't say whooped my ass. The, the matches were, were insanely freaking close. They were good matches. I really don't have any complaints. He, you know, he he got he took a lot of points from me. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was good matches. You know what I mean? No complaints. You know, it ran pretty good. No lag, that sort of stuff. It, it, was, it was good. No complaints. You know, I learned a lot about Yuri. Thanks to the Yuri that uh, whooped my ass last night. You know what I mean? <laughs> But uh, one thing I will say about you, though, is that Aegis Reflector. I think that Aegis Reflector is too damn good. You know what I mean? He can just, he can just box you in there. Once, once, he, once he corners you with that Aegis Reflector, I don't know, man. It's like, holy freaking crap. Look at this. Look at that. Yep, got me with the overhand. So, basically, oh my god. Chun Lee, Chun Lee's going away. She's going to check out the new Fei Long movie. She, that's, that's where the bus is taking her. She's taking her to the theater. She's going to check out the new uh, Fei Long movie, apparently. So, all right, so this last round. I'm not really sure what I was doing here. This last round, I decided to be as patient as uh, humanly possible. But, uh, you know, and, and one thing I will say, though, this Yuri, and I did send him a little good games afterwards. I mean, because, to be honest, these, these matches were pretty good. I freaking love them, you know what I mean? No lag. That's how I like them. Close matches that run good without any lag. And I have no complaints. You can beat me, it doesn't freaking matter. I have no complaints. I actually don't mind losing in this game. Now, when there's a little bit of lag, you know what I mean? You can't punch to jump in and that sort of stuff. That's when I get upset if I lose, obviously. But when if it runs good and I lose, no problem. You know what I mean? It's, it's a good match. Yeah, look at that. I gotta block that. Oh my god. Yeah, see, here I went on the offensive. And very nice. Oh my god. He's done here. He's done. I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, at the time, I didn't even know that with the Aegis, you could bounce the freaking uh, token right back at me. Oh yeah, this is very desperate of his part. He, he was dead damn sure it was gonna link. It didn't link. It didn't hit. And let's see here. It's over. Look at this. It's over. What's he gonna do here? What the hell is he gonna do? One for the shoulder? Nope. No shoulder for you, baby. No shoulder for you, daddy. Okay. So I won that. I think we, we had three matches. He won one of them. I won two of them. So, But this wasn't on rank. This was on casual, I believe. So, all right. So this next match, uh, this was actually the last match we had, I believe. And I, at this point, I was a little bit more comfortable against Urien. And, you know, controlling the pace and that sort of stuff. One thing I noticed about this guy is that he, he does, he likes that jumping. So that's that's one of the things about online. A lot of people love that jumping. As you can see, I rarely jump in. When I do jump in, it's basically, I want to test out their anti-airs. If they can't punish my jumping, then you can just keep jumping in all day. See what I mean? Because he's not punishing the jumping. But uh, I do it as a little test. Usually I don't jump in. Maybe, like, maybe if I'm super extremely, you know, like, desperate or something, I'm gonna, I gotta get some damage on this guy, then, you know, I I'll try to jump in. Or if I do a read, for example, I think he's gonna go for a projectile or something, then, yeah, I'll, I'll do the jump in. But usually I don't jump in. Like, very rarely. Okay, whoa, my god, that, that goddamn overhead. That overhead, that Aegis Reflector is too damn good. He can box you in there, and then the projectiles just bounce right off that right at you, and it's, Jesus. 
He is, oh, this because he screwed up right here. He screwed up right here, and I think he recovers way too damn fast after that uh, critical arc, to be honest. Got that heat. Oh my god, I got oof. Okay, that was a sweet. That was a sweet medium kick. I'll give him that. That was a sweet medium kick. All right, all right. And then I sent him the, the good games. I never got a response from this guy. That kind of sucked, you know. I actually, I didn't just say good games, for example. I said, you know, you were my first year in. It was a great match. I enjoyed it and whatnot. You know, all, all that, all those festivities, you know what I mean? But, uh, no response. So it's like, yeah, this is, as you can see here, I'm playing my little game. He doesn't know where the hell to block. Oh! Stun time, baby. <laughs> yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. These are my favorite rounds right here. See what I mean? He doesn't know where to block. He doesn't know where to block. He doesn't know if he has to block low, he has to block high. If it's a cross side, he doesn't know. That was a nice Aegis reflector into the combo there. Oh, into the grab. Very nice. Oh, that was a weak. I knew he was going to go for that goddamn uh, shoulder. The shoulder attacked him from hell, and I don't know what he did there. He just did a random medium kick. Maybe he was going to do something else, and he got medium kick. I don't know. Okay, so last round here. What is up with the guy in the back there, by the way? Huh. Anyway, last round here. And oh, okay, I think that's too damn good. That goddamn shoulder taco. The, the EX one is too damn good. But I guess it makes sense because it, it is the EX one. Tried to stomp there, it didn't come out. At the time, I, I still wasn't quite. I'm still kind of not used to the stomps in, in this game, to be honest. Because in, in Ultra Street Fighter 4, to do the stomps, you could do, you could press down or diagonally in any direction, and the stomp would come out. In this game, it has to be down. So that's kind of why I, I'm used to the arcade stick, so I'm still kind of getting used to the, uh, the, the stomps. But uh, once I have those locked, oh, um, yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I, I, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, bye. You gotta call, you gotta check that, baby. I got him right where I wanted was the corner. Okay, wow, wow. That was a sweet kick right there. He just kicked me out of there. He just gonna spam that kick. I guess. Look at that, look at that. Right back at me. Oh my god. Now charge that up, baby. I don't know if he can. Holy crap. Got another Agus Reflector. The Agus Reflector was kind of uh, pointless, to be honest. It did nothing. And uh, he's dead here. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna. Oh my god. Oh my. Holy shit. Yeah, I remember when this happened. This is the last match we got. When this happened, I had no idea who had won. Like, you know, the game just kind of stopped. And I was like, okay, wait a second. Who the hell won this? And the person that won is yours truly. All right, so let's check out a little bonus match here. Okay, so Capcom finally did it. Check it out. They finally did it. They were able to fuse Candyman with Michael Jackson. Look at this. I'm going to call him Candy Jackson or something. I don't know. Look at this. He looks just like Candyman. He's got the Michael Jackson uh, gloves, apparently, for some reason. I don't know what that's about. But uh, Balrog, holy crap, Balrog's a tricky character. You know what I mean? I haven't fought a lot of Balrogs online, to be honest. I can count them on one hand, the number of Balrogs I've fought, the number of Ruins I've fought. But uh, so far, I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of Balrog, to be honest. This is probably Balrog number three. Uh, he's got those punches, man. You know what I mean? He's, he's a boxer, obviously. He's got those punches. But I don't know why they added, like, a little... He's got, like, a little kick there. I didn't know that boxers were able to do that. He does, like, a little toe stomp, basically. He, he like, stomps the, the foot or something. Maybe boxers do that. I don't know. I've got no idea. Maybe they cheat. You know, they stomp the guy's foot or something. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know why they gave him that. I don't know if it's a low block. I don't know what the hell that is. But it's tricky. It's too fast. It comes out of nowhere. I don't know. Look at that, yeah, what, I don't even know what the, what that punch is. But it's actually pretty funny, I don't know why, but uh, when you play the original Street Fighter 2, uh, for some reason, when they, they had Balrog, he would do like, you know, the punches, right? He would, you could hold the punch, and, and the announcer would go, one, two, three, you know what I mean? Like, depending on the punch, you know, the length of the time that you would hold the, the button. So this is actually pretty funny, but when you hold the button for a long time, and four is gonna come out, punch number four is gonna come out, the announcer is like, four. <laughs> the guy screwed up. Instead of saying four, he would say whore. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that was sweet. Crush counter right into the grab. Here we go. See, this is kind of what I like to do. Oh, my God. Two crush counters in a row. He's scared. He's backing up. He's going for that punch, baby. Oh, oh. he went for a little toe stop there. Oh, my God. That's too good. Too damn good, baby. Those either EX moves are insanely freaking good in this game. Like, you can just throw them out. Most of them are safe on block. Doesn't really matter. He's got that goddamn... He activated the goddamn B trigger. I think I win this round. I'm not really sure. I, I believe that I do. Yeah, this is what I do, baby. I'm in there. I'm in there. He went for a little toe stop. No, sir. Oh, my God. That was good. That was good. Turn punch, uh, straight punch, dash punch, whatever the hell that was. Screwed that up. Let's see here. No, he blocked it. And uh, boom, 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 oh, 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 and it's over. That's it. 
All right, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content itself. Later.